What's up guys, this is Everything Apple Pro, and in this video I'm gonna be comparing four of the best phones that are out there right now. Uh, obviously this isn't all of them, but I just wanted to get most of the ones I did have of the flagship phones. This is the Samsung Galaxy S4, the HTC One, Samsung Galaxy S3, and the iPhone 5. Now, some of you may be wondering, why is the Galaxy S3 in there? Well, that's because I still believe it's a worthy contender to the iPhone 5 and Samsung Galaxy S4. Not everyone is gonna to wanna to spend that much money on the Galaxy S4, and this wouldn't be bought for a lot cheaper while still maintaining a lot of the power and features that many of these phones have. And that's not to mention that a lot of the features from the S4 will be ported to the Galaxy S3, which makes it even more appealing. So I decided to keep it in this review. Now we are gonna be doing a Geekbench test, a browser test, a boot up test, and a display test, just to give you a general idea of what you're gonna be looking at when thinking about purchasing any of these phones. So enjoy the comparison, guys. Now this will not be one of those comparisons where I'm gonna point out one device and say, hey, this is a lot better than this guy, and I just want you guys to see for yourself. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start off with a boot test. We're gonna jump right into it, and you know, if you're in the middle of the desert and you're being chased by someone, and you just need those extra few seconds of turning on your phone so you can dial 911 or do something, <laughs> anyways, just putting out a scenario for you there, um, we're gonna check the boot up times, and I do think you guys will be genuinely surprised to see how fast one of these phones does boot up. Anyways, let's go ahead and I will try and get this right. This is my third attempt. One, two, three. Okay, yes. Anyways, so let us see. And there you go, within seconds, the HTC One has booted up and is usable already. I was shocked actually to see that. Next up in line is the Samsung Galaxy S4. Samsung Galaxy S3 is not too far behind and it's on tie between the S4 and the iPhone 5, and the Samsung Galaxy S3 is last to boot. So it is a bit surprising to see that the HTC One is the fastest out of all of them. The S4 actually has a 1.9 gigahertz processor, quad core, uh, the version I do have anyways, which is surprising that it wasn't first, but let's go ahead and continue with the comparison. Now I do have Geekbench 2 open on all devices, and just to give you a little bit of an idea of the processors, on the Samsung Galaxy S4 we have a 2.0 GHz processor running at 1.89 GHz, HTC One is 1.73, Galaxy S3 is 1.5, and the iPhone 5 is 1.3 with the Apple A6 chip. Now these are obviously not the fastest they can be, they come a little bit slower from the factory, you know, for the sake of battery life and all, but Apple's iPhone does make very good use of the 1.3 GHz seeing how by specs it's the slowest out of all these devices and we're gonna go ahead and run benchmarks so we can compare all of these devices. Not surprisingly the Galaxy S4 finished first with a high score of 3229 which is really impressive. HTC One is at 2646 iPhone 5 comes in third at 1661, and the Galaxy S3 is last with 1500. Now, just so you guys know, the Galaxy S3 actually comes in many variants depending on which region of the world you're in. So this isn't a number for all Galaxy S3s. This is just the one from AT&T that I do have. And the same goes for the Galaxy S4. You know, some people will get the 1.6 gigahertz version. I just got the 1.9. Anyways, just so you guys can see, the Samsung Galaxy S4 is king. It dominates at the Geekbench score. Now, how that translates into real life, you know, we'll put that to the test in just a second. But spec-wise, the Galaxy S4 seems to shine out of all of these. HTC One comes up next, and the iPhone 5 third, you know, with the Galaxy S4 finishing last, which is interesting. Now, it's really cool for me to put into perspective the actual power of all these devices. So let's go ahead and go into the internet browser and put it to the test. I do have Reddit in the search bar ready to go on all of these phones. It doesn't have a mobile version, which makes it ideal for this test. It's got quite a bit of things to load, so it will be good. Now, predictions, the Galaxy S4 will be first, followed by the iPhone 5. HTC One, and then the Samsung Galaxy S3. Now, Apple has always been very good at optimizing the processor for web use, so that is an advantage for the iPhone, but let's go ahead and load the website and see for ourselves. And they're off. So, the Galaxy S4 was first, followed by the iPhone 5, and then it was a very close call between the HTC One and Samsung Galaxy S3, but it was just a little bit faster. So it did go exactly as I predicted, which is good. And the Galaxy S4, I gotta say, it's 
crazy fast. But compared with the iPhone, you won't find much of a difference. They're both amazing devices for the web. So if you're trying to pick one or the other for web browsing, it really does not matter. It's almost the exact same speed. Now for the last comparison, I just wanted to show you guys the displays. I try to make my room as dark as possible so you can see the color. And I'm going to show you a couple of pictures and you guys can decide which one looks best for you. Now I don't want to bash on any particular phone, but when I first picked up the HTC One, I did immediately notice that the screen was a little bit washed out. It's not crazy noticeable, but you definitely can see it in pictures like these where you need darker contrasts. And I'm not even sure if that's a defect or if all of them are like that, but my display on my HTC One is a little bit washed out. Obviously the Samsung Galaxies will have a better contrast ratio because they are AMOLED displays, which are regarded as some of the best when it comes to dark hues. And the iPhone 5 does very well with its retina display. I've never had anything bad to say against it. And so these are just some strawberries. Let's go ahead and look at the next one a beach. And as you guys can see, the Samsung Galaxies look amazing. They're very dark. These are the same exact photos. And the HTC One is a little bit washed out. iPhone 5 does a little bit better. But in general, I gotta say, Samsung Galaxies and iPhone do the best with displays. The HTC One does have a 1080p display, but it's just not on par with the Galaxies or the iPhone 5. Now, when people ask me which one is better, you know, it really all depends. What you're looking for, not all of these phones are gonna meet your criteria, so do your research, guys. See what you want from every single phone. Do you want beautiful hardware and software that are both equal? Do you want freedom to install your own applications, modify your phone? You know, do you want power? It all depends on what you guys want. No one can give you a direct answer. Hey, buy this phone. This is the best one or this one. You know, you guys all have to see what you want from each phone and then make a decision accordingly. Now prices, they're all very similar in the price range. You know, if you want one off contract, be prepared to spend over 600 to $800 to get one of these phones off contract. And not many people do wanna sign up for an evil contract with an evil carrier company. So do your research guys. I just wanted to show you just a general idea of how these phones perform power wise, which one is the fastest, you know, displays, just give you a general idea. Now hardware, as you guys may know, the iPhone 5 and the HTC One do the best in hardware. The Galaxies are both made of plastic, but that's not to say that they're built very poorly. It's just they're built out of a different material and you know, whatever floats your boat guys. So I do appreciate you guys watching this video. Don't forget to like down below if you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about any of these phones, which one you would choose and why. And guys, subscribe if you haven't already. There will be many more videos to come. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Peace.